And now that the government is offering free COVID-19 testing kits to all Americans, Many have questions about the accuracy of these tests and when they should be taken. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us now live this Friday for more on the differences between the at-home rapid antigen tests and the PCR tests given by healthcare providers. Dr. Nandy, is one test better than the other is the question. Amy Linda, I think it's clear as mud for most people. So this is, my patients are asking me these questions all the time. They wanna know which test to take and which is more accurate than the other. So first of all, the PCR and the antigen test, right, the rapid antigen test, can detect an active case of COVID-19. The main difference, Glenda, between the two is that it involves the time frame when you get the results and the accuracy. So the PCR test first is considered the most reliable because it can identify very small amounts of the virus's genetic material in a person's a specimen. So for that reason, the the CDC says that the PCR test is more precise in diagnosing COVID-19 in a person who has been really uh, recently exposed. The flip side is that the PCR is so sensitive, right, that it may show positive results several weeks, even months, after the individual has recovered and is no longer contagious. So important to know that. Now, the rapid antigen test is less sensitive. It, all, it, it only picks up viruses at high levels, and it can be useful for identifying when a person is more infectious. So, Dr. Nandy, what should a person take into consideration when you're choosing which COVID test to take? So let's say you get exposed to someone with COVID-19, Glenda. The most accurate test is, is the PCR test, right? You can also take the PCR test if you're having symptoms, wanna find out if it's a coronavirus infection. And, and, and as you know, the earlier you know it's COVID, the better. The problem is that with the PCR test, it's much more accurate, but it takes longer. So if you want to get the results right away, you take a rapid antigen test, but know that it can, it can be less sensitive so you can wait for the PCR test. On the other hand, right, the rapid antigen test would be a good one to take and not the PCR, when you've had COVID for several days and you wanna confirm that you're no longer infectious to other people. So let's say you've been isolating for, for several days, for five days, you can take that rapid antigen test and see, ha, huh, am I still positive? And if you're not, you're less infectious. So that's, that's how I would kind of look at those two tests. Remember though, it's really important. Bottom line, testing is crucial to help stop spread the COVID-19. You can't just guess that you have a cold or sinus infection. It can really fool you. So get tested and, and that's how we can get to the bottom of it. And, and, and if need be, we can treat you or isolate folks so this doesn't keep spreading. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you for clarification on that. My pleasure, have a good weekend. All right, same to you. And don't forget to watch an all new episode of the Dr. Nandy Show this weekend on Sunday. Dr. Nandy is discussing the science of relationships. Again, that's Sunday, 5 p.m., right here on 7.